You know, when we heard we were coming to do this thing at a bookstore and there were going to be 120 people, we said, how the heck do you fit 120 people in a bookstore? And then they said, well, it looks like there's going to be 240 people. And uh, what an amazing place uh, to have to be. To be. And uh, it's just wonderful to know that Warner is a place not just a sign on the interstate. And what an amazing place. So, um, you know, before Bernie, uh, Jerry and I used to be the most famous guys from Vermont. <laughs> so uh, we are so happy to give the mantle over to Bernie because ice cream is good, but a president of the United States who truly stands for justice in all its flavors, that is euphoric. You know, euphoria is a high-minded word, but the reason why Bernie is going to be able to turn this country around is that he's down to earth. He has a vision, and it's pretty simple. What would our country be like if it was designed to benefit regular everyday people instead of corporations and the ultra-wealthy. He knows what he's up against. He has no delusions. He has the experience in the trenches, in politics, in Washington, the cesspool of what is our political system today. And with our help, with all of us, it's Bernie who will be able to finally flush the crap down the drain. You know, I don't see Bernie as a politician in the usual sense of the word. He is a fighter for justice, economic, social, racial, and environmental. And he uses politics as a means to that end. Before Bernie, I never had a mayor that represented my values, or a congressman, or a senator. And I can tell you, it feels great, just as great as it's gonna be when we get this guy elected. You know, for the last 40 years, I've been Bernie's constituent. He has been steadfast and determined for these last four decades, he has worked to improve the lives of regular everyday people and those who are oppressed. You know, in 1980, when Ben and Jerry's was just starting out, Bernie won an improbable victory over a long-term party machine, old crony politician and became my mayor. His first act was to shut down plans for extensive condominiums that would have privatized Lake Champlain, and instead he turned the land into a park that was open to everybody. When he became my congressman, he personally took busloads of senior citizens over the border into Canada so that they could buy their prescription drugs at decent prices. He co-founded the Progressive Caucus in the House, which has now become the largest values-based caucus. He voted against NAFTA before being against NAFTA was cool. He voted against going to war in Iraq twice. Then, in 2007, he defeated the richest man in Vermont to become my senator. As a senator, he worked with conservatives to force the first ever audit of the Federal Reserve Bank which revealed $16 trillion in near zero interest loans to big banks after the 2008 recession. Then he led a successful effort to stop the so-called chain CPI, which would have cut benefits to social security recipients and veterans. And last September, Bernie introduced the Stop Bezos Act, that stands for Stop Bad Employees by Zeroing Out Subsidies. A month after he introduced it, Jeff Bezos, head of Amazon, raised their minimum wage to $15 an hour. You know, when Bernie ran for president the first time and he said he wouldn't take any big money, I thought it was a mistake. 
I thought that he'd never raise the money that he needed to mount a credible campaign. And then I came to understand it. He understood that if there weren't enough people, if there weren't millions of people who were willing to support him with small donations, then he didn't want to become president because he understood that he would never be able to get what he wanted accomplished once he got into office because as he has said so often, it's not about him, it's about us. So what do I think about Bernie the man? Well, he's always been the same. He never wavers. He has a clear vision for how to make America kind again. He's not a fancy guy. He's pretty down to home, no airs, and I like his hairstyle. That never wavers either. He doesn't go with the trends. He sets the trends. Small donor-funded campaigns, universal health care, publicly funded colleges and universities. Bernie, the trendsetter? Who knew? He's already leading the nation. Just look at all the other candidates that are following him. Uh, Take it away. Thanks a lot.